Investing in the stock market comes at a risk, and the fear of an economic downturn or even a stock market crash never really leaves the back of most investors' minds. Major bear markets and market crashes have happened in the past and will happen again in the future. But while most people focus on what they could potentially lose during those times, we want to take a look at the way these events could present an opportunity to make some cash. Aside from being prepared by setting up emergency funds before even starting to invest and following general investing advice to avoid risking your entire savings, here are five ways to potentially make millions in the next stock market crash. Let's start with a few slightly risky and rather short-term methods of potentially making money during a market crash, starting with short selling. Under normal circumstances, investors buy stocks when their price is low and then sell them when the price is high. But when you short sell something, you basically do it the other way around, meaning you sell a stock for a high price first, and then when it's fallen, you buy it back for a lower price, thus making a profit. This sounds a little complicated since you can't sell something you don't have, but how it works is that you essentially borrow shares through your stockbroker and then sell them immediately in hopes that the price will go down soon. Once the price has fallen, you buy the shares back and return them to their owner, profiting from the decline in the share price. You can potentially earn a lot of money quickly by short selling during a market crash, but it is a pretty risky thing to do, because you can just as easily lose a lot of money. If you consider short selling, you should keep in mind that the amount of money you could lose with this method is unlimited. In normal transactions, the worst that can happen is that you lose 100% of your investment, but it's impossible to lose more than that. When short selling, however, you borrow the shares and sell them first without knowing if their price will really go down, so you can buy them back for less than you sold them for. So if things don't go according to plan and the price actually increases after you sold them, you will still have to buy them back eventually, since you have to return them to their owner and there's technically no limit to how high the price could get. That means that even though short selling is a short term option that could make you a lot of money during a market crash, it's a pretty risky move because in theory, you could lose an infinite amount of money if things go wrong. If you think short selling sounds a little risky, you may want to consider buying options. As you may know, options are essentially contracts between two investors. And there are two types of these contracts, call options and put options. A call option means that a buyer has the right to buy shares from a seller at a predetermined price on or until a particular date, though he or she is not obliged to do so. A put option, on the other hand, gives you the right to sell your shares to the other party at a predetermined price on or before a particular date, though again, there's no obligation to do so. Now, if you want to make money through options in a market crash, you either buy put options or sell call options. Buying put options means that you have the right to sell your shares to your contractual partner at an agreed price. So even if your stock crashes and significantly loses in value, you have the right to sell it at the predetermined price, even if that price is much higher than the stock's value on the open market. This not only gives you some security, but also allows you to sell the stock to the option seller at this higher price before buying it back for a much lower price on the open market thus making a profit thanks to purchasing the put option. The other way of making money through options in a market crash is to sell call options to other investors. As mentioned, this gives the option buyer the right to buy shares from you for a previously agreed upon price. However, if the market declines after you've made that option contract and your stock goes down significantly as well, you can probably expect the option buyer to stay away and buy shares on the open market instead since they'll get a much better deal there. If they can buy the shares for a much lower price on the open market, they will most likely not want to purchase your shares for the predetermined price. Instead, they will let the contract with you expire and you can keep your shares and are left with a small profit that you made by selling the call option to them. Both buying put options and selling call options are ways to potentially make some money in a market crash, but while options might be less risky than short selling, this is still a very short-term method for profiting from a market crash. Another short-term way of making some cash in a market crash is investing in inverse ETFs, and this one is slightly more complicated. For those of you who don't know, ETFs, or exchange-traded funds, are a type of investment fund, and the idea is to buy a diverse group of stocks and to imitate the performance of a particular index. So for example, if the S&P 500 goes up by 1%, the S&P 500 ETF will also go up by 1%. An inverse ETF is effectively the opposite, meaning that if the S&P 500 goes up 1%, the S&P 500 inverse ETF will go down by 1% and vice versa. So inverse ETFs basically imitate the opposite performance of a particular index. But don't let the name misguide you, as inverse ETFs, in spite of what their name might suggest, don't hold individual stocks and don't look or work the same as a normal ETF. They are constructed using various derivatives to profit from a decline in the value of the underlying index, and they usually use daily futures as a reference. This means inverse ETFs are only ever short-term investments, 
because they get rebalanced daily and will only perform their objective for that particular day they were constructed for. So to use our previous example again, if the S&P 500 went down 1% on that day, the S&P 500 inverse index would go up 1%. However, if the S&P 500 went down 10% across the year, the inverse ETF would not go up 10% due to being rebalanced on a daily basis. As mentioned, inverse ETFs might be a good short-term option to make money in a bear market and are quite popular investments during those times since they're designed to increase in value in a declining market environment. But if you look at their performance over a longer period of time, you will see that most inverse ETFs tend to underperform because they are rebalanced daily and are not meant as a long-term investment. So far, we've only looked at short-term methods of making money in a market crash, but there are some long-term options as well. Many passive investors follow the simple rule of dollar cost averaging, meaning they invest a fixed amount of money in the same fund or stock at regular intervals over a long period of time and buy and sell at fixed rates. Since no one can predict the market, this technique allows you to avoid buying a position at a peak or selling it at a bottom. And if you diversify your portfolio and then keep adding to the same portfolio for a long time, you don't really have to worry about bear markets or market crashes because in the long run, they will only become dips in the market. By adding to your portfolio for decades and decades, you can actually view market downturns as a positive thing because they present excellent buying opportunities in your dollar cost averaging cycle, which is especially true for new investors who are still in the early days of their investing career. So even though you will technically not make any money during the downturn or in a market crash, they allow you to add your portfolio and make a much stronger return in the long run. Similarly, you should avoid panic selling stock that you own because that's a pretty sure way of losing money during a downturn. Remaining calm during a downturn isn't easy, but try and see it as an opportunity rather than falling into the trap of panic selling just because everyone's talking about the market crashing. No one can predict the market, so it's impossible to know if a decline only ends up being a dip or if the market is actually going to crash. Selling on a decline might mean that you lose out on a lot of money if the market ends up recovering, while a market crash can only really be recognized after it's happened because you never know what the next day might bring. You might regret selling during a correction and it will already be too late once the market has crashed. So often, it's better to hold on to your stocks until the market eventually bounces back. As we just mentioned, keeping a cool head during a declining market is pretty important and it's much easier to do so if you make sure that you buy into good businesses. Buying shares of quality businesses that are well-established generate good profits and attractive returns on equity, and are possibly even shareholder friendly will allow you to worry a lot less during a market crash, because these businesses will hold up much better under stress and are much, much more likely to recover from an economic crisis even if the share price drops significantly. Investing in quality businesses for the long term is something you should generally consider when investing, but especially during a stock market crash, you should be on the lookout for these businesses because you might be presented with an opportunity to buy high quality shares at a margin of safety price. This is perhaps the best possible thing that could happen to you because if a business has minimal debt, a strong cash flow, a good cash cushion, a strong competitive advantage, and great management, then it's highly unlikely that the business will go bankrupt or even be impaired in the long run as a result of a short-term market downturn. So buying shares of a high quality business like that at a price that's significantly below the intrinsic value is one of the best ways to profit from a market crash in the long run. Because once the market recovers, the business will start performing very strongly again. Again, you won't be making money while the market's crashing, but if you're looking for some long-term options to make some cash after a market crash, then this is one of the best methods to profit from a downturn. Do you agree with our list? Comment down below and let us know if we've missed something or what you'd like to find out more about next. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.